Code signal RK Bishop and Pawn. Hello, Internet. My name is Joshua, and I'll be solving Bishop and Pawn question from Code Signal. Let's begin. So, given the positions of a white bishop and a black pawn, determine whether the bishop can capture the pawn in one move. Um, the bishop has no restrictions in distance for each move, but is limited to diagonal movement. And if you play chess before, guys, I think you know how it moves. If not, it's a description of how it does move. So, for example, here you can see that it, you'll be given certain. Um, certain positions. Um, in chess, it goes from A to uh, H. So tiny letters, I can barely see it. Um, 1 through 8. So A through H, 1 to 8. And with that, you are given its coordinates in this format. Okay, it gives the example if you capture it. True if it's like this. False if it's like that. So let's begin. All right. So I already looked into this, and I think the best way to summarize this plan the best way to look at it, a hint, is think of it as comparing rates. Um, if you're given a bishop, what is, is the rate of going to its, the x position of the pawn the same as the rate of going to the y position of the pawn? For example, you can see here these are they're equal when you go in the same direction for each turn, I mean each square. But here, the rate of going to this pawn is way different than going in another axis. So with that in mind, let's... Um, Try to solve it. So here's how we we'll do it. I will take the bishop x equals. Um, uh, let's see about this. Uh, yeah, bishop that character at index zero. So we're taking that first character, which is going to take us to the x axis, and we're going to convert it to an int. Oh yes, and. Um, now, since that the position starts at 1, we want to subtract, hold for a second, I'm going to do a convert variable to make this easier. It will be an int a minus 1. There you go. Yeah, it's in lowercase letters. It should be good. Now let's try this one. int b y equals int the shop that character at 1. There you go. And, oh, and by the way, since this is a character, I'm going to do this minus convert. Just in case, I'm going to do a convert of, let's just say this is for letters, and this one's going to be for numbers. Now here it's going to be for the pawn, pawn of x equals int, pawn dot character at zero minus convert letters, and now int on y position equals int on dot character at one here minus convert L. So I hope you guys understand what's going on. I'm gonna bring these two numbers that we can easily describe. Like we'll do from one to eight this way, one to eight that way, so that when we compare the rates and we'll compare it like this, return is um, we have x minus b of y. And since this can be negative or positive, I want to make this an absolute value so that I can do this. So directionality doesn't matter as long as the distance, um, the absolute distance is what we really want to check. Oh no, sorry, sorry guys. P of x, pawn of x. I was wondering what's going on here. Bishop of y minus pawn of y. There you go. And now, these guys should cover the same distance in one move. And um, if they're different, that means it's false. So let's try and running this and see what happens. Oh my gosh. Oh, sorry about that. Think for a second. This should be minus n. Let's see, what else do I need to improve? Oh, yeah, sorry. There you go. Let's try it again. Nice. Okay. Small little typo. Sorry about that, guys. Let's see if the submitting works. Huzzah! All right, guys. Um, I'll explain one more time. So now we're subtracting the distance from the pawn to the bishop, the bishop to the pawn, um, for respect of the x and y. And since they're characters, um, it, we're using covering the strings to numbers. Um, I use these um, these values here to ensure that instead of doing A, B, C, D, and whatever, it's going to be using numerical digits as its coordinates, 1 through 8 here, 1 through 8 that way, 
And now that when we compare the distances they cover, they should be equal because that means they have the same rates um, traveling from one spot to the other. Like Bishop traveling to the pawn spot. And this is the rates of x and y are equal. Um, or maybe the best way to discover the distance covered from x and the distance covered from y are equal. Um, maybe this is better. <laughs> maybe this is a better way to describe it, guys. Distance of the same as distance of y. That means they are um, the bishop can capture that pawn in that spot. So, all right, guys. I uh, hope you like this content. If you do, please like and subscribe. And if you do, I'm going to resurrect Bobby Fisher, and you get to play uh, 10 games with him. And if you lose, um, you trade places with him, and he gets to live in your body. No, just kidding. You guys have a good day, and um, take care.